Okay, so about two years ago, I decided to start drinking coffee. To give you a bit more details on the context at this time, I just started university about a year ago and it was requiring way more mental activity than I thought. Um, quite long hours of classes and quite tiring days in general. So whenever I would come home, I would have to start studying, but to be honest, I would be way too tired to do so. This is exactly when I started drinking coffee and for the following reasons. First of all, I wanted to enhance my focusing capacities to be able to throw in long hours of studying or getting work done. I also wanted to be more awake throughout the day so that I could attend my classes in a more energetic and focused way. And finally, I kind of thought it was a big step into adulthood, so do not judge me for that, but it played a big role in why I started drinking coffee. Now let's start from the beginning. What is coffee and caffeine? Caffeine is the most famous drug in America. On a very scientific level, caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant of the methylxanthine class. It is used as a cognitive enhancer, increasing alertness and attentional performance. It acts by blocking binding of adenosine to adenosine A1 receptor, which enhances the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, that was from Wikipedia, but to make it simple, caffeine is a molecule that would simply boost your ass off. It is mainly found in coffee, soft drinks, as well as energy drinks. Now, if you start looking closer at the ingredients of your favorite products, you will also realize that it is present in chocolate and in your dear cup of tea that you make in order to relax yourself. Now, how is caffeine supposed to help you? Well, for most students like me and people working at a desk all the time, theoretically, caffeine is the perfect molecule. Well, it is supposed to help you be able to sit down and get work done with a laser focus for a long period of time without really getting tired. It is also a way to keep you awake throughout the day and to avoid relying on your natural energy that sometimes can fade out, especially after having lunch, for example. Now, theoretically, caffeine seems to be the perfect solution to getting everything done and to be super productive. But what are the effects that it really had on me? I personally only realized that caffeine was ruining my life back in the summer 2022, so almost three years after starting drinking coffee. First of all, caffeine would affect my general mood and the way that I would get extreme anxiety, those tummy feelings as I like to call them, and it would basically stay until the caffeine would wear off my body. Now, after doing some research, I found out through scientific articles that Caffeine itself does not create this anxious state nor panic attack, but what it does is that it enhances those feelings, especially if the person ingesting caffeine is um, more susceptible to anxiety or more sensitive in general than other people. Another negative effect that I had from drinking coffee is that I was simply becoming addicted. I would rely so much on the effect of caffeine that just like a drug addict, I couldn't start my day without my cup of coffee. And this is probably as big of a reason as the first one which made me quit. I absolutely did not want to fall into any type of addiction and as I started my self-improvement journey, I really wanted to discover the capacities of my body and mind without the help of any external factors such as caffeine. Now, what really happened whenever I stopped? I stopped drinking coffee for over 90 days now. I remember I stopped on August 21st. Now for the first month where I stopped, I remember that besides the little headaches here and there, um, the negative effects were nothing compared to how good I was feeling. I didn't have any more type of anxiety or what we call those panic attacks uh, where I would feel my heart rate raising. I just generally felt better. When it comes to having less energy, it is true that sometimes I could feel a little more tired than usual, but that forced me to lean into a better diet to avoid having those slumps throughout my days. So I ended up cutting an external and unhealthy um, energy source in my life and I replaced it with a really healthy one, which was relying on a pretty good diet. Besides all of those positive effects of quitting caffeine, I had a pretty negative one and it was the fact that I was missing something in my morning routine. I created a coffee routine which was pretty peaceful. It took me around five to 10 minutes to brew my own coffee, and it was during this time that I would usually slowly wake up, have time to think about what my day would look like, and also have time to think about how I feel about my life right now and what I would like to change. I tried having a different routine and making up a cup of tea to try and recreate that routine, but it did not work. What I ended up doing is that I started drinking decaf coffee. I now have the exact same morning routine. I have my 10 minutes of peaceful brewing session without having all of the negative effect that I would get from drinking caffeine. 
Now, how can you stop your caffeine addiction? Now, I know that a lot of people are relying on caffeine in order to get work done. I mean, I meet students all the time since I am still studying at university and I've never met any of them telling me that he wasn't drinking at least a cup of coffee per day, if not more. I get that for most people, it is absolutely inconceivable to quit caffeine, but in case some of you would like to try, here is what I would recommend. First of all, you need to fix yourself a deadline in the way that you aren't telling yourself, I'm quitting caffeine starting tomorrow forever, but instead you're telling yourself that you will quit caffeine for a week or two. And from then you will decide whether you want to quit caffeine forever or if you want to get back to it. So that would be an easy and gradual way to quit caffeine. Now the next level would be to tell yourself that instead of drinking two cups of coffee in the morning, you reduce this number to one cup and then you reduce this number to one cup every two days, alternating with one day with caffeine and the other one without. Through this, I think you can already feel a difference in your detox. Or another great thing in order to reduce your caffeine intake would be to switch your coffee for tea. Because when it comes to number, a cup of tea approximately has 100 milligrams of caffeine per eight ounces, while black tea, for example, only has 55 milligrams. And the highest level of your detox, um, you could make some research to know what hot beverage does not have any caffeine in them. But I did the research for you. So here is what you could have. Even though for some reason it is badly seen, the decaffeination process is pretty safe for you, which means that you could start drinking decaf coffee. If not, you could drink chamomile, mint, or ginger tea, because none of those have caffeine in them. I personally also quit any type of drink, such as energy drink or Coke, which has a lot of caffeine in it, just because I wanted to be relevant with my sayings and actions. I mean, it would not make a lot of sense if I would quit drinking coffee and try to quit caffeine. And during the day, I would chug a two liters bottle of Coke or three Red Bulls. Another great thing that I learned from this experience is the fact that whenever something doesn't feel right for us or we are in a situation that is pretty uncomfortable for us, we tend to not look in the right direction in order to find the cause. I mean, I personally loved my morning routine. I thought that it was the highlight of my day. And instead of questioning this, I started to look into different things of my life. I started to blame uh, my university life. I started to blame the fact that my YouTube channel was not getting um, enough views as I was expecting. And I also started to blame my own personal relationship. While none of those had um, proper negative effect on my life, I still kept going with my fake friend, which was coffee, and kept seeing it as a comforting piece in my life rather than a destructive one. There's this famous quote from this pretty famous guy that says that your worst enemy could be your best friend and your best friend your worst enemy. And it is pretty relatable for me with coffee. So thank you for this one, Mr. Bob Marley. So that basically wraps up a big step up in my self-improvement journey. Quitting a somehow addiction, relying on my own body energy and capacities, uh, focusing on a diet energy intake rather than on an external drug, and an overall decrease of anxiety and negative feelings. I hope you found something interesting in this video. It is absolutely not an invitation for you to quit caffeine, but if you do want to, or you did already, please let me know that below in the comments. I would love to read your story. And anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next one. Oh, I quit coffee, just drink water now. Bye-bye.